We are looking at some beautiful weather for today, although it is going to be warmer than yesterday by several degrees in most spots. Getting into the low to mid 90s this afternoon, about 94 degrees. 87 though tomorrow and 88 on Tuesday. That Delta breeze does return to start our work week, but then we warm right back into the 90s. By the end of the week, we're at 96 for Thursday, 97 degrees for Friday. I'm not wearing this coat right now to because it's cold outside. No, it's very pleasant. To protect my light colored dress here from the barbecue we are about to partake in, we have Lucille's here today. Yeah, they are in the house and they are a K Series 3 A list winner. They are showing us how to grill like the pros. Enrique Ortiz is here with us now. And tell me a little bit more about what you are cooking up and grilling for us this morning. Well, right here we do have our uh, baby back ribs and our uh, tri tip. So they're, the ribs are smoked for about four to six hours, the tri tip smoked for about four to eight hours, or six to eight hours. And we will take the ribs straight from our smoker onto the grill, put a little bit of our uh, barbecue sauce on it, and then we have our barbecue spice or our rib rub. It seems like a lot of steps here, a long time to make it. This is pretty intimidating. What do you want to tell the folks at home who want to learn to grill like the pros but are a little scared about eight hours? <laughs> the key is low and slow. We have our in house smoker where we smoke the majority of our meats, and it goes anywhere from two to 24 hours, and that's really the key hickory wood. And just you know, paying paying a lot of attention, making sure you don't overseason them. Nice uh, rib rub on them. We have our own barbecue sauces that we put on there. And then same thing for the tri tip. We put our uh, barbecue spice on the tri tip. We marinate that in there, and then we pop it in our smoker again for about six to eight hours. And Ben will uh, go ahead and slice it up. This is Ben mm -hmm. here. You're gonna slice up some of the. Yeah, meat. I think you already sliced that up, right? <laughs> so that's our steak, oh, you're our slice skirt up the steak and shrimp. There you He's go. Gonna slice up the tri tip. So Enrique, the best bet is to probably, if you're going to say grill next Saturday, is to get your meat on Friday. Correct. And start everything either the night before or the very early morning of if you're going to be putting this on the grill late in the day. Correct. Awesome. So yep, Ben, what is your secret here? I mean, it looks obviously it looks well done on the outside, but not completely well done on the inside, no, no. right? No, So we like to keep it nice and tender for you. Like Enrique said, we smoke it for about four to six hours, and then we uh, just try to slice it nice and uh, good size for you so they can get a good amount of meat. And uh, we just put it on the plate here for you, try to fan it out a little bit. Then this is going to be our mop sauce. It's kind of like an au jus. Just pour a little bit on top and it uh, moistens it up nicely. Is this really a portion right here? Is this tri tip it for is. one person? It is, yeah. Oh my God. It's a one person uh, serving. A lot of people do share them, but okay, um, wow. you know, it's good for leftovers as well. You're you know, not going to leave snack. hungry. No, you not, at all, not at all. What are some of the other dishes that you are featuring here? For so us? we have our lettuce wraps right here for you. It's going to be um, our chicken for you. It has a black bean relish, a corn salsa, little um, carrots, uh, cucumber, and then a, a coleslaw as well. Kind of wrap it up. It's a nice option. Option. And then we have our steak and shrimp as well. So it's going to be a marinated uh, steak for you. Comes with uh, four shrimp, uh, buttered grits, and a succotash as and well. You have 14 different sides featured at your restaurant. Yeah, so yeah. Lots to choose from. Of course. Maybe even actually a little bit more than that. We have everything from the watermelon you see here. This is going to be our peanut slaw. It's kind of like a vinaigrette base with I peanuts like that. on top. It's not, it's not kind of main easy and floppy. Yeah, it's really kind it's of It's really good. It's a little bit of a, a kind of a play from a traditional coleslaw. And then, I mean, we have have everything from uh, the buttered grits, cornbread, greens, grits, oh, you know, uh, wow. a anything for the southern <laughs> so, people. Well, Eileen tries one of these dishes here. Can you tell Gosh, us a little bit one. more about uh, what we can do? Are there three things we can do to be better grillers at so, home? The, the big key for grilling is having a, the grill. It all starts with the grill. Okay. Um, you know, for us, like I said, our in house smoker is the key for us. And then we have our grill as well, and we finish them on the grill. Get okay. your caramelized lines right. on there. Head to Lucille uh, for right. a great barbecue if you don't want to duplicate it yourself at home. Thank you so much for watching us. Have a great day. How is it? Good. <laughs> I tried to cut the cash first so I don't get too messy.